So with the dancers here in Seoul, we work very much on a, exploring the physicality of the work. I think with the collaborators here in Seoul, we discussed much more the themes of the work, uh, the theme of gender, also the theme of these two locations that exist within the play. These sort of the forest location become this catalyst for this change in the work. Um, so this has been something that's been discussed a lot in relation to Seoul. Uh, the UK uh, research period, Chi and I kind of just, we talked a lot. We discussed um, all these themes and issues and how we could start to translate them into, into movement. Um, so there's been a real mix of physical exploration and sort of more conceptual thinking as well, which has kind of prepared us then to enter the process with a uh, sort of wide viewpoint. I always choose dancers who, um, as well as being technical, really cap technically capable and physically capable to do the work, I, um, my most important sort of trait in a dancer is a creative dancer, a thinking dancer, uh, someone who has something to give. Um, I feel like by allowing the dancers space to um, really find themselves in the work um, and in the choreography, that when we get to the performance, they that it's coming from a true place, and it's not just something that I've stuck on top of them, and then they're trying to find. Uh, how to perform it, like from the start of the creation process, they are investing in it. So that the performance and the, the sort of aesthetic that we get and the emotion that we get is really real. Um, this is the aim with all the tasks that we set. So there's a mixture of tasks from sort of an image or a, a thought um, to like really physical um, like restrictions placed on them things where they're having to either work together or work against each other to try and achieve something. And through this, trying to fight through these restrictions, they then kind of find new things, things they wouldn't find uh, maybe without that. There's some materials that came from us individually. So some task we had was a very personal task that you can put your thoughts into, or your memories into. So for me, that's a little bit more richer in a way but at the same time the quote we created earlier is like re real teamwork so you know that's also a nicer feeling inside if the audience could feel that um, I'll, I'll be happy <laughs> I think that with the themes of the show with with gender with identity with finding yourself um, I've been very inspired by both my life back home, obviously I bring that with me, but also being here, being here over the two research periods and also being here now. The thing that's very interesting for me with gender, for example, is how through media and through marketing, I think the presentation of gender is very different from the UK to here. And this is something that was really sort of just grabbed me when I arrived here in Seoul. I really noticed the m sort of youthfulness of uh, the people in Korean marketing, for example, especially men, which at home, the men are normally in their 30s and they're sort of a bit more muscular, whereas here they were much younger and um, smaller frame. They're just things that subconsciously are in there and um, it will all kind of somehow <laughs> find its way into the process and, uh, yeah, eventually arrive into the, into the work. Rosalind herself as a character is so multifaceted, but I think uh, for me the the thing I keep coming back to is that she's trying, she's discovering her true self, uh, and I think something that I feel is really important is that uh, we as people can can live as our true selves, and this is ultimately what Rosalind is doing. She's discovering that true se side of her. Um, exploring it and then kind of living it um, and so this is the this is the sort of message we're trying to get to I think in the work there's no there's no grand plan <laughs> and um, we won't know kind of how the lighting will shape it how the sound will shape it yet they're still in development 
Um, and that, that for me is a really exciting way to work, that everything is developing at the same time. It's not that we have the soundtrack and then we put the, the dance to it or, you know, everything is evolving. We've just the lighting designer here to work with us. He's got ideas kind of starting to grow and, and this is the, the way I love to work and um, hopefully it will result in a really cohesive show by the end of it. Equally, again, with the, with the costumes, like we've been working with a Korean designer uh, in Suk Choi, uh, who, who has been coming into the studio every week and uh, drawing inspiration from what we're actually doing in the studio, as well as the ideas, that, the conceptual ideas that we have for the show. So uh, again, hopefully it's going to be a really integrated element.